Good afternoon. It's August 25th, and we continue our devotions on the topic of truth. In Psalm 52, verse 3, David says, You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking truth. All right, although that is taken in the negative, it does bring up the idea that if you're focusing in a devotion on truth, you ought to talk about falsehood. Well, and the first thing that I guess that I would want to say to the 21st century American is that if there's such a thing as truth, then we have to establish and know what is false. And the problem that we face in our society today is that we want to make everything okay. We want to make everything true. We want everyone to have their own truth. The problem is, Everything can't be okay. Everything that the human beings in America or in the world want to do because that's their truth just can't be. Or else we'd have no reason to call anything wrong. We would have no police officers police officers to arrest anyone. We would not have any prisons to put anybody in because they didn't do anything wrong. They just lived out their truth. You see, there has to be falsehood and truth. The question is, which is which? Well, I contend, obviously, that God's word is the, is the revelation of truth, that God is true, that Jesus is the embodiment of truth, that the teachings of the scriptures are true. And most of our society has their rights and wrongs rooted in that biblical teaching. But we also should understand where falsehood comes from. And I find it very interesting that in John chapter 8, Jesus says about falsehood. He talks this way. He says about Satan. He was a murderer from the beginning. He does not hold on to the truth because there is no truth in him. And when he lies, he speaks his native language because he's the liar and the father of lies. You see, for God, it's kind of black and white. Truth or falsehood. It's not a spectrum it's not a pendulum. It either is or it isn't. And what I contend is, is the more and more we become firmly rooted into God's word and into his truths, we become more discerning about that which is false. It becomes clearer. We catch it quicker. We catch it before we fall into it. We catch it before it hurts our children. We catch it before it hurts our families. We catch it before it hurts our society. Well, I ask you to consider reading the devotion that's attached. I pray that it is a blessing to you and have a firmly rooted day.